It's not boon real without the shrimp paste. Bon appetitis. This is five cups of hot water. We need to soak three ounces of dried shrimp into this. Soak this for at least 30 minutes. While we're waiting for our shrimp to soak, you're going to need one of these cans. You can either do the crab or the shrimp, and you can find this at any Vietnamese market or H Mart. Add this in here. Canned crab meat. This one is from the Vietnamese market. I just drained it. Or you can use the one from the white people market. The texture is a little bit different. Either or works. Ground pork, eggs. Now we're gonna mix this up. This is what our meat paste is going to look like. By now, our shrimp should be done soaking and we're gonna add this into a food processor. Make sure you reserve this liquid. Wait, reserve means to not throw away, right? I think so. Make sure you don't throw this liquid away. Our shrimp is gonna look something like this. Yo, my baby's tripping. Then we're gonna add this into here. If you don't have a food processor, you can also use a pestle and mortar. Now my toddler's tripping. One trips, the other trips. Mix this all together. Our meat paste is gonna look something like this and now we're just gonna set this off to the side. I'm blanching my pork with some ginger and peppercorn. They were supposed to send me pork spare ribs, but they sent me the wrong one, so this is gonna have to do. This is coming to a boil. I'm gonna turn off my heat and rinse and drain this under cold water. We need to make our broth. This is the reserved shrimp water. Did my kid move this over? Why did I slid him? To our shrimp water, we're just adding regular water and we're gonna bring this over a boil. My broth is boiling. Now we wanna add our spare ribs, but like I mentioned earlier, I didn't have any or the grocery store delivered me the wrong one, so I'm adding in my pork. We're gonna cook this and bring this back to a boil. This is starting to come back to a boil. I'm gonna reduce my heat and simmer for 30 minutes. While this is simmering, you're gonna get this foam. Make sure you scoop all this out and discard it. Now we need to make our sauteed tomatoes. I have a quarter cup of oil heated up. In goes our garlic. We're gonna cook this until it's nice and fragrant. It's nice and fragrant. In goes our onions. And we're gonna saute this for a couple minutes. My onions are nice and translucent. I'm gonna add my tomatoes. I just cut these into quarters. And then one tablespoon of fish sauce. We're gonna saute this for a couple of minutes. The tomatoes should still hold shape. I can turn off my heat at this point. It's been 30 minutes. Now we're gonna add our sauteed tomatoes. I should just pour this. I don't want it splattering everywhere. I gotta scrape all this in because it's where the good stuff's at. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna season this with salt, sugar, tamarind powder, and that stanky stank shrimp paste. Mix this all together until everything's dissolved. If you don't have shrimp paste, you can use fish sauce. Our seasonings dissolved. Now we're gonna add fried tofu. I got my tofu already fried at the Vietnamese market. Remember the shrimp paste that we made at the very beginning? Well, now we're gonna add one large spoonful at a time. The soup is so loaded right now, oh my gosh. I just cranked my heat back to high and we're gonna cook this until the meat paste floats to the top. Our broth is now done, everything's floating to the top. I just had a friend tell me he eats his shrimp and crab noodle soup with shredded cabbage instead of noodles, so I think I'm gonna try that. Now I'm gonna add some scallion, cilantro, thinly sliced onions, and now let's ladle the broth on. Ooh, look at all that real. No. 